Hi, it's Amélie. Today we're going to talk about singing in your flute. So I'll give you a very quick example. And then you can play different notes. Okay. So that technique, at first, it was a contemporary music technique, but um, at one point, I think it's uh, Robert Dick that was trying to find a way to um, sound better, and then he realized that some people that had a very nice sound, he started asking around, I think, and he realized that people were naturally kind of singing in their flute while playing the people that had a very nice sound. And because they resonate with their instrument, you know, the... The, the, it's, it's in sync. He started practicing like that. So let's say you practice anything. You can practice a piece like that. You can practice, um, let's say, the beginning of Syrinx. And the goal is just open your sound, you know, and then you'll play it again. with that same opening and that same resonance that mimics your flute because it's it's as if you were singing. So how do you do that? Well, first you start by singing. Well, I give myself the note first, so I play, let's say I'm doing a G. So I play my G. How I learned it was like this, and then, and I started blowing. Um, if that's very difficult, what you could do, a little in-between thing, you sing your G and then you blow and your sound will not be perfect, it doesn't matter, it's not about being perfect, it's just about having it done. I had a student recently who whose voice would just move when like she could sing but whenever she was playing at the same time her voice was out of control going up and down up and down we worked on choosing a note that was very easy for her to sing first so really her middle range like oh what's easy for me oh that's easy for me ah oh, ah oh, ah oh. okay that's a d uh c ah oh, so Maybe I'll do the low one because it's easier to sing in the same octave. You know? And then we went from there, one note, keeping it steady, and then another note, a D. Okay, I, and then you can do scales, whole pieces, all those things. And what's very nice is that in contemporary music, you can even have two melodies. I'll give it like a little example. So you get little intervals that you can sing. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. If you have liked this video, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.